Good morning everyone. This is Jan from Organics 50 and Raw. I'm sleepy and I have my sleepy face on because I just got out of bed. But I got up and I wanted to um, use my new orange juicer. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. But uh, yesterday I realized that some of my orange trees are ready to have the oranges picked. And I wanted to show you how I knew. If you look at the ground, you'll see all these oranges that are falling off my tree. And if you look really closely, you'll see that they have a little hole in them and that the bugs are coming out of them. So even though the oranges on my tree are not orange yet, they can still be pecked. Oh, see, look, the bugs already got this one. So what happens is the birds come and they peck the holes they know that the oranges are ready and they peck holes in the oranges to get the juice out, the birds do, and then the bugs come and finish off the oranges and they start falling off the tree. Now out of all my orange trees, there's only two that the bugs, the birds are eating and so I know that those oranges are ready to be picked. So this particular tree in my backyard is my uh, navel tree and so we need to start eating these oranges and the one in the front is my Mars and that one is ready as well so yesterday we picked oranges I'm going to show you guys my old orange juicer and my new orange juicer so let's go inside okay so here are my old juicer on the left and my new juicer on the right and my old juicer I am not kidding you guys we have had this for probably 18 years. And it's it's a um, Oster citrus juicer. And they make a new one now. This one, you, you push the orange on it. Let me show you. And you, you guys have probably seen these. You push the orange on it. <laughs> oh, oops, I can't do it one hand very well. And it spins one way. And you squeeze the orange and you get the juice out of this in the basket. Well, I think probably 10 years ago, they came up with one that spins one way and then spins the other way and it, it breaks and it's very flimsy. So I was very blessed to, re to buy this one before they changed how it worked. Cause this thing truly has lasted about 18 years. We've cracked it, it's gotten hot and warped and, and it still keeps going. So we've used this every year for probably over 18 years because I had it before Cole was born and Cole's 17. Now the other one we just bought is this one. And uh, hey, Kaden. Oh, hi. <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be my first time using it, but I did, it's got the handle. You pull the handle, you put the, the orange or the grapefruit or whatever you're squeezing down there. You pull the handle down and it squeezes it and it goes into this bucket. Well, I can already tell something that I don't like about this is that the base is so little. Um, you can see the base is so small. What container is gonna fit in there is probably five inches wide. I'm like, okay, well, it didn't come with the container to go in there. And then when you bring the handle down, it stops there. So it can't, so I, what I did was I thought, okay, well, I'll just get a plastic container and set it there, but it's also tilted. So the container keeps falling off. So then I got some of this tacky stuff, this, you know, this stuff for putting things on the wall or whatever. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just, here, hold this, Kaden, point it at that. Well, I'll just put that on there to hold the container in place. But when I juice the orange, it hit the container well. Yes, so that's kind of, hmm, I don't know about that. I think that they should have made the base wider or something, and maybe a more professional one would have had the base wider. But point it up here, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works. I'm gonna put an orange in here, and this just comes right off, and you wash this. And I think it will juice the oranges more effectively than the other one. Oops. And the grapefruits. Grapefruits too, I, when I use the other one to juice the grapefruits, um, it, it leaves a lot of grapefruit pulp behind. So, and as I'm pushing, you can see it's it's bending forward. So, see that the okay. So this is not a very good bucket or container for this. I can just see juice, me spilling juice everywhere. 
Let me see if I can find another one smaller. Maybe this one. I'll try that one. I guess just like anything new, maybe you just have to get used to it. But I see a lot of YouTubers using these to squeeze their juice. And, uh, I'm, and my thoughts are that it's more effective than the one that spins in the basket. Plus the one that spins in the basket, it does get a lot of seeds in it because it overflows and you have to empty it quite frequently. But, um, it has been a very trusty citrus juicer for many years. And what we're gonna do with this juice this morning is in our detox drinks, we're gonna add some orange juice. Now we're not gonna drink straight orange juice. We're gonna drink about mm, a third orange juice, a third alkaline water with some detox cubes in it, whichever ones Caden wants in there. Lemon. Lemon, lime, turmeric, ginger. No. We'll drink our beet kvass. This is working great. My, um, I know you, you guys are thinking these oranges, oh, let's see, it's tipping. Maybe I just need it closer to me. Are green, but they are still okay to juice and to eat, actually. So if I don't get them off the trees right now, the birds literally will get them all. And uh, so that's kind of how I know when my oranges are ready. The birds tell me. If the birds start eating them, that means they're sweet. So literally I have um, two, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven citrus trees in my yard. And out of all of them, only two of them, the birds are getting. So the different types of citrus trees are are re ready to eat at different times of the season. So what that's really awesome because you have, you know, you finish the oranges off of two trees and then you, by then another tree's ready and hopefully. So I love fresh squeezed orange juice. And the other thing you can do with oranges is you can just put them right in here. If you have a gravel juicer or a juicer that has a really wide mouth on the top, you can just put them right in there, skin and all, because the skin of the orange is actually edible and it's not poisonous. It's actually good for you. Um, I would probably do that when my oranges are more orange looking and not green, because what's going to happen is your, your orange juice is going to look green. So fun, I'm, I'm glad we're getting oranges. <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem like very long ago I was making a video last year, picking oranges and juicing them. And here I am a year later. So there, all done. Okay, now well, I'm gonna pour, let me get my ice cubes in here. <laughs> Are you okay, Kaden? <laughs> here, rest your elbows here. Okay. Ready? Okay. I'm gonna go get some ice cubes. Be right back. Two bags, turmeric and lime and aloe. Lemon, I only have two lemons left. Beet, juiced beet. Cilantro. Ginger. And cucumber. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here first because I want to dissolve the stevia. So I'm gonna put some water. Can you see the water? 
put in my little scoop of stevia. And you only need very, very little. This is the brand that I've been using for a long, long time. Cal, K-A-L, stevia. Leaves no aftertaste. It's a very, very good brand. It will last you forever because you use just a minute amount. Stir it up with my handy dandy hand mixer. And then I'm gonna throw in the cubes that I want. I know I definitely want a turmeric. And I know I want a lime. I know I want a lemon. I know that right now I'm gonna want I'm gonna save the beet for later because we drink beet kvass in the morning. A cilantro for all of my amalgam fillings that I wish were not there. Put a little bit more water in it. And then I'm gonna add some orange juice. Mm. Not a lot of orange juice, about a third of the cup of orange juice. to top it off. And voila! You have it! Ta-da! Ta-da! Absolutely delicious. And a really good way to start your morning drinking your ice cube detox drink. Good way to flush out your digestive system flush out the kidneys, flush out the liver, help, you pre help prevent you from getting liver stones, kidney stones, get flushes the fat out of your body. The turmeric, watch yesterday's video. Okay, got it, Caden. The turmeric for inflammation, for the memory, the lemon, the lime, the aloe. It just, it's just a great drink. So even if you don't have the orange juice, even if you don't have the turmeric, even if you just start with lemons or limes, you know, start somewhere, even if it's just water. You know, get the water in you in the morning time, a nice water. Um, something that I've been wanting to do is get my, I have a moringa tree outside that's growing. I wanna get those leaves into ice cubes. And you can add wheatgrass, but oh, I really don't like wheatgrass. I have some wheatgrass ice cubes at my studio, but I just don't like them. Um, and so, yeah, so here we go. Now we gotta make Cadence, yeah. right, Caden? So Only there. Lemon. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good day. I just wanted to tell you guys before I said goodbye for the day that in case you didn't see one of the other videos where I was juicing the lemons and juicing the limes, I juiced them, I didn't squeeze every one of them. I actually used my Breville juicer and just put them through whole, seed, skin, and everything. All I did was rinse them off and then juice them all and put them in the tray. And with some of them, before I put them in the tray, I put them in my blender, my Vitamix, and uh, I put in the aloe leaf and um, the, or cucumbers, and then I mixed, so I mixed the lime and lemon juice or lemon juice with some fresh aloe gel or um, cilantro or cucumber and then I froze them. So just in case you didn't see that video. But even if you don't eat 100% raw or even high raw, you know, this is a really good way to start your day, um, just flushing the body out. And so what we do is we, well, what I've been doing lately, I used to drink um, my Barley Max powder with a teaspoon of Soleil and a quart of water and a lime uh, and a lime squeezed into it and so I need to add my barley powder to this it will actually taste really good except I need to get some and my Soleil I've been drinking in the evening Soleil is Himalayan salt brine got lots of minerals in it I usually drink that in the evening when I get in my sauna but after I drink this I'll be drinking a quart of juice and um, not juice it'll be a smoothie and lately it's been my red prickly pear with blueberries and cherries in it and that's because red prickly pears are, are almost out of season so I've been drinking at least one quart of that every day so this is what I eat before lunch um, and if you are on you know trying to get healthier this is a good first step 
you just make your ice cubes whatever you can find around you don't make it hard and then make a smoothie so you have a quart of detox ice cube drinks and you have a quart of smoothie and you have all that before lunch and that's I mean if even that was all you did that's a good big step in the right direction um, and then just being consistent with it consistency is the key to benefits of many many kinds whether it's exercise whether it's eating healthy whether it's praying reading your bible whether it's going for a walk whatever it is consistency is the key but it's the thing we consistently have a hard time doing but if you can make yourself be consistent and in doing this you'll really see a lot of good benefits from it okay so i'm going to go juice some more oranges we're going to listen to Caden. He's going to read to me and see his nice drink there. And, um, and then I'm going to make some cream. I'm going to make some of my Organics Magic Cream. And, uh, and uh, I'll have to be doing a video on that soon because it is so awesome. It's such a good cream. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.